Hi, today this is just going to be a quick video on um, how you can take any song that you have in iTunes and convert it to a um, a ringtone that you can use on your iPhone, iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS. So first thing you need to do is open up iTunes and if you don't already have the song that you want in iTunes and you need to uh, import it from a CD or wherever you're um, getting it from. Um, if you buy songs off the iTunes store you can already convert them to um, ringtones built into iTunes, but if you have a song that you didn't purchase off iTunes, they actually charge you to uh, get the ringtone. So this way you don't have to pay any money and you can just do it for free. So first thing you need to do is locate the song and for this example I'm going to be using a Mario um, theme song. Okay, so once you've found your song that you're going to use, you need to right click on it and click, uh, click create ACC version. Now if you don't see this in the menu, um, that means that your settings are different than what they were when you first downloaded iTunes, that means you modified them. And I can show you how to change them back. So if you do not see, once again, the create ACC version in this, right, if you right click on the file, sorry, if you don't see this in the pop-up menu then I'll show you how to fix that. First you need to go up to the iTunes in the menu bar, then the preferences, and then you need to go right here on the under general and it says import settings and go ahead and click on that and you must have come in here and changed um, how iTunes is importing your music and uh, I figured this out because I originally had it at Apple Lossus Encoder but you need to switch back to ACC Encoder to be able to make ringtones you can switch it back once you're done but for uh, making the ringtones you need to have the ACC Encoder selected in the import settings let's go ahead and click OK, okay. So right click and now you should have that create ACC version and go ahead and click that. And you can see this converting um, little bubble came up and you can also see it's converting the song for us. Does it pretty quickly. And now we should have a copy of um let me double check, hold on. So I'm not sure which one it is. I'm guessing it's that one. Yeah. So and you can always do get info and you can see yeah this is an ACC file when originally it was an mp3 I'm pretty sure and originally it was an mpeg audio file so once you have it in the ACC format go ahead and drag that file to your desktop and you should see it has a file extension of m4a and if it's not that then you need to go back and repeat these steps that I was talking about earlier because you have to have a .m4a or else you're not going to get the results that you want so once you have the file on your desktop, you can go ahead and delete the file that we just created in iTunes. Make sure you don't delete your original. And I'm going to move it to the trash so it's not just somewhere on my hard drive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize iTunes. Now we need to open up Mario, the whatever the file name is for me, it's Mario. Open it up in QuickTime. And now I have QuickTime Pro. I'm not sure if this um, is doable if you don't have Pro, but um, I'm guessing that if you don't have Pro, you could probably get it offline, I'm not sure, or you could pay for it, or there's other probably a bunch of other applications you could use, like GarageBand, or um, any other audio editor, basically, that can open up M4A files and edit the uh, length. So, these, and if you're using QuickTime um, Pro, these two little slider bars, you can actually move back and forth, and you can edit the, the clipping of your song, and for it to be a ringtone you have to have it under 40 seconds so I'm just gonna drag because I want it to start at the beginning because it has an intro I'm just gonna drag this to about 39 seconds so I get a, a, a clip audio clip that's under the the limit alright so once you have see how it says 39 there once you've done that and you can also move this around and then you can move this farther if you wanted to it doesn't matter where you get the what part of the um, clip you get so what you need to do is go up to File, um, sorry, go up to Edit, and then click Copy, and then go to File, um, New Audio Recording, Oops. File, New Player, that's it. And then you need to do Edit, Paste. And if you want to do that all with um, keystrokes, you can just press um, Command C, Command N, and then Command V and then you've got this little clipping in this file. So this entire file is at 39 seconds from this big clip. So now we need to export this. We don't need to save it because you could save it as a .mov file. We need to actually export it. 
So go ahead and click Command E or go up to the file and go up to down to export. And you want to make sure that you have um, this third one at the bottom, the AIF file, and that's it, just an audio file. And we're going to name this Mario. I just say Mario Ringtone. Save that on our desktop. And you can go ahead and close these. You don't need to save, and you don't need that. And now, since we have the um, file in, um, in the shortened version, we don't need the long version anymore. And this is just a, uh, a uh, converted version. We actually still have the original in iTunes. So you can go ahead and throw that away. And now bring back up iTunes and bring back in your Mario ringtone file. And now you need to right click on this again and click create ACC version. This will convert it to the right format. Go ahead and click delete our original, which was the um, one that's here, still here on the desktop, the AIF file. And you can also delete this off your desktop because you have it in iTunes now. And here's our M4A file, bring it to our desktop. And now we can delete it out of iTunes. And now, once you have it on your desktop, this is all you need to do. You need to um, just click on it um, once, and then you need to go over and change the file extension to .m4r, which stands for uh, something ringtone. Replacing A, which is audio, with R ringtone, press enter. And I'll ask if you, are you sure you want to change the extension, and say use .m4r. And now you can notice it has a little ring text on the uh, file. The, and now all you need to do is bring that file back into iTunes. And one, voila, if you go under the ringtone section, you'll see I have Mario ringtone. I also have a Super Mario ringtone that was from earlier. And once it's in here, you can obviously rename it. So I'm just going to rename this Super Mario ringtone to... Like, get rid of the brothers in this. And I prefer to add ringtone on the end so that if I'm ever um, organizing uh, the ringtone file and the normal file, I know which one is which. And now once you have it on iTunes, you can obviously throw the one that you have on your desktop away. And all those files that we were working with, you can go and empty your trash if you don't want them in the trash can. So now, that if you notice all these are under 40 seconds. Now if I go to my uh, iPhone and go to the ringtone section, uh, um, you can see all of them are showing up. If you do have a ringtone that's in your ringtone section that's over 40 seconds, it's not going to show up in this list. So what you need to do is export it, uh, trim off some more, re-import it, convert it, and then export it out, change the file extension, and bring it back in. Basically, well, follow all the steps I just went through earlier. Um, so now once you have uh, it in iTunes, you can, if you do have select your hand, make sure you check it. I have all ringtones. Go ahead and press sync. Go on your iPhone and you should be good to go. So if you guys have any questions or you guys need any help or um, anything at all, just uh, send me a message or leave a comment. All right, thanks for watching.